guys, like seriously, which of you here told Canon that we needed a VR lens? Show by hand. W what? It's, it's not you? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Just kidding. In fact, Canon recently just released their very new virtual reality lens, which this lens is so much very amazing. And I just couldn't let this pass. I felt like sharing this awesome news with you guys because as independent filmmakers, when something like this or when companies like Canon are pushing the envelope of technology to give us access to this awesome kind of gadgets that just a few years ago were reserved for the likes of Hollywood and other big budget productions. This virtual reality lens we are talking about is a all-in-one stop shop lens that allows you to be able to capture virtual reality shots right there on your Canon R5 camera without requiring you to add any extra gadget or so many processes that you go through to put out a very nice virtual reality video. Now, knowing very well that a lot of you here are beginners on my channel, so let me take time to explain to you what virtual reality is all about and why this lens has a very important role to play at this particular point in time in our lives as filmmakers in 2021. If you are interested in this, just stick around. Let's figure this out. <laughs> So virtual reality pictures or virtual reality video is the closest we've come as a people to creating or depicting the real world in its natural state. What do I mean by this? Now, in traditional videos of photography, you are only limited by just one angle at which the camera was positioned to record a video or to take a picture for you to look at. And this particular angle is also represented just by a 2D plane. Everything is flat. Your phone screen is flat. Your TV screen is flat. Just a flat surface throughout. Now, this is where virtual reality comes in. The world is always more than one dimension. As much as we try to use composition to be able to depict the world in a form of 3D form, you still can always get away with the fact that, well, it's still 2D. So that is where this virtual reality thing comes in. It allows you to be able to capture the world in kind of a three-dimensional scope. So after capturing the video, now you are just limited to this frame I'm showing you right now on this screen. But with a virtual reality video, I can look up, I can look down, I can look to my right, I can also look to my left. So basically, that is what the virtual reality video is all about to explain it to a pure beginner. So now the question is, how do you go about getting that kind of an image or getting that kind of a video? So that is where this kind of new lens now comes in. So basically, you achieve virtual reality by using two kind of cameras or two lenses which would capture the same kind of image at slightly different angles at the same time. It kind of works like just like the way the human eye works. So the distance between your two peoples, which is this particular eye and this particular eye, is the same concept that has enabled the virtual reality video or that has made this kind of technology possible. So they place two lenses just like the way the human eye works to capture the same scene at the same time. This offers you a very wide angle so that in editing, you are able to stitch together that same footage together to get a very wide image than usual. This will allow someone to be able to look around the image. And to be able to view this kind of videos, you can use your mobile phone and just move the phone around. And as you move the phone around, it's just like watching it in real life because you can see the image moving around. The second one is by using a headset. All you need to do is just put on this particular headset like the way you put on your traditional shades and you'll be able to view virtual reality videos and they look so real, guys. Sometimes you just feel like extending your hand and touching an object because virtual reality is so real. That's the closest we've come to reproducing the real world in its closest natural state. Now, that is it for just explaining what virtual reality is all about. So now let's go specifically to the second part of this video, which is talking about this new virtual reality lens and how this lens could impact the whole camera industry. Personally, would I be getting this? Stick to the end of the video to know whether I advise you to get this particular kind of lens. I'm going to be reacting to this particular video that was posted by Canon USA on the official website. Let me look at that video before I'll tell you whether you should get this particular lens or not. Or is it even necessary? Ah. So let me get my laptop and let's get to the reaction part of this video. So by the power of editing, I have my laptop here and we are going to 
right away react to this video. So I'm going to be pausing along the line if there's something interesting that I feel like discussing with you or further just expatiating on that particular factor, I will let you know. So let's do this. At Canon, we innovate so you can push your artistic boundaries. And we're proud of the many ways we've contributed to your creativity over the years. From sets to sidelines, from studios to sidewalks, from weddings to the wilderness, to wherever inspiration strikes, we're here to deliver the innovation to power your creativity. If you have been following this channel, you know how sometimes I like it when people kind of, you know, take advertisement to the next level. I mean, I don't know if this is hype. I can't tell. Well, <laughs> let's wait till the end of the video. But this is beautifully crafted, poetic kind of lines to advertise or at least just to creep up your interest in the product. But as always, the end will justify the means. Well, let's see. We're excited to share another product designed to unlock new dimensions in visual storytelling. The RF 5.2 millimeter f2. So this is the first look at the lens. As you can see, it has two lenses as part of one of it like i already explained earlier on it looks like the two eyes just look at the two peoples of human eyes so you have the first one uh, just here and you have the second part of the lens here all of them are still connected to one piece of lens because it's this part that would attach to your camera so this one reflects the image this one also reflects the image and it all goes to just one sensor this would kind of make further sense as we go through yeah point it out dual fisheye the world's first dual fisheye stereoscopic RF mount lens that when paired with the EOS R5 puts 8K virtual reality video capture in the palm of your hands. The new dual fisheye design is Canon's first interchangeable RF mount lens for VR capture. With this versatile mount, it means you can go from traditional shooting to 3D stereoscopic capture with a simple lens swap. The RF mount is key as a large diameter and short back focus distance close to the image sensor are leveraged to achieve high image quality throughout the entire scene and a more compact. Right. So this is what I was trying to explain earlier. As you can see, this acts like the pupil of the human eye. As you can see, you have the left and right eye here and all of them are throwing their lights, bouncing off several layers of glasses and all going to just one lens so this allows the camera to be able to work like the human eye it captures left video or left pictures and right pictures at the same time optical system optimized for a folded optical path when mounted onto an eos r5 with compatible firmware update the lens produces a beautiful dual fisheye image at up to 8k dci 30p or 4k yeah, so, and it will be able to record up to 8K at 30 frames per second. And 30 frames because now this is very crucial to be able to record in 30 frames. As a filmmaker, I usually advise that you all shoot in 24 frames. But in this sense, because people are likely to be watching this on a headset or watching this on a virtual reality headset, then if you record it at 24 frames, sometimes motion blur can cause dizziness because you realize that it's just so much this is different from traditional cinema so recording in 30 frames kind of make it like um give it a more normal feel although it might not give you the cinematic feel that we are used to in terms of what we do in traditional cinema so this is something very good that canon it's uh, introducing as part of this yeah, maybe one of the best advantages of the rf 5.2 millimeter f 2.8 l dual fisheye is the fact that this image is internally recorded to a single full frame image sensor. This makes comp. Yeah, so like I was saying, this kind of buttress the same point I was talking about because as you can see on the screen right now, we are recording left and right images or videos at the same time. And in editing, these two images are going to be stitched together. And this process has actually been simplified by this particular kind of lens. I mean, this is a complex procedure. Sometimes people use two different cameras and kind of configure them to work. But this lens is kind of simplifying the process so that you and I, in fact, a beginner can simply pick this. All you need is an R5 camera and straight away we can begin to shoot virtual reality videos. Guys, 
you will never appreciate this until maybe you tried making a virtual reality video just about five years ago as at the time of making this video to be able to appreciate what this technology actually means or how this technology is going to simplify the whole video making process or let me say the virtual reality video making process i mean amazing complex stitching and syncing a thing of the past the capture to export process is further simplified thanks to software offerings that allow easier workflows this will help seasoned vr content creators and newcomers to vr as well the 190 degree field of view delivers impressive results with the color science and image quality you know and love from cam you'll be able to achieve a sharp image by using the manual focus band to adjust both lenses so as you can see he's trying to pull focus and it's just the same thing, just like your traditional lens that we, you use attached to a particular camera. It's just the same thing. Everything else still works the same thing. Sometimes it's just a workflow that is going to differ because you have to combine the two images and all that. So, yeah, basically that is it for this. As well as a separate left-right difference adjustment dial to further refine your focus of the right lens. So it also offers you the opportunity to be able to uh, refine each focus differently. This other focus ring you saw initially was the general focus of both the two lenses, but you can also go in and tweak individual focus of whether the left or right channel respectively. And as you can see, this is how um, they are trying to adjust the focus. I'm not too cool with this though, um, because if this is going to be marketed for beginners or people to just pick this up and use, um, carrying along something like this, a screwdriver to be able to adjust focus, I don't know. Or I'm asking for too much. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But at least if it's supposed to be for beginners, I, I, I don't think you need to carry around any form of um, gadget in order to be able to operate the lens. I mean, for me, this defeats the purpose. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe as a beginner, you can carry along something like that and um, adjust your focus. Who knows? I don't know. But personally, I, I don't think this is so cool. But hey, let's go difference adjustment dial to further refine your focus of the right lens alone. Engineered with an interpupillary distance of 60 millimeters, it closely resembles human vision with natural parallax. And a dual yeah, so I already spoke about this earlier. They are talking about how it closely resembles um, the interpupil distance between the normal human eye. That is where your eye, the left eye is and the right eye is at the same time. Yeah. By construction allows you to immerse your audience in captivating stories unlike ever before to bring your creativity to life in stereoscopic 3D. One of the first things you may notice when you're handling this lens is just how compact it is. Previously, when shooting VR, you would have needed a dedicated VR camera, custom rigs, multiple cameras, or more. Now you'll be able to easily add the power of VR to your camera bag alongside your favorite Canon lenses. Yeah, so that is what I was talking about. The simplification of this kind of technology is just amazing. Those days or back in the days, like I said, don't even think too far, just five years or just even two years ago from 2021, it was very difficult to be able to make a virtual reality video. You needed extra kind of rigs, extra equipment in order to be able to create an amazing thing like that or create a kind of amazing uh, virtual reality video. But this is ready to go, like he said, and it's in your bag and you can take it off at any time and shoot. Amazing stuff, guys. Let's talk more about the quality of this lens. First, the L-Series optics offer pristine imaging with 12 elements and 10 groups, and two ultra-low dispersion elements creating a 190-degree field of view. With sub-wavelength structure coding, you can shoot with confidence even in challenging lighting. Whether in backlight, front light, low light, or anything in between, it provides you versatility no matter the scene or the time of day. With an aperture range of f2.8 to f16 featuring is going to be able to give you 2.8 range of aperture so that you'll be able to blur the background or open uh, your lens to that amount. 2.8, it, it, it's not really bad, at least for um, a virtual reality lens. That's, that, that's impressive. Third and half stops and exposure values that are electronically controlled by two separate electromagnetic diaphragms, exposure control is quick and easy. Separately, a gelatin filter holder is located at the rear of the lens and is compatible with filter gels just like other ultra-wide angle Canon lens offerings. 
Lastly, thanks to fluorine coated lenses and dust and water resistant seals, this lens is built for professional use. So you can have peace of mind even in challenging conditions. With a remote control live view function using Canon's free Canon Camera Connect app or Canon's Ah, guys, this is one amazing cool feature. It allows you or gives you the chance to be able to access all of these things using a mobile phone app, guys. You know my love and hate relationship with mobile phone apps. They are so cool sometimes, but if it's not well done, maybe the signal slows it down sometimes. But I mean, this is this, this is also good. Um, I don't have any qualms with that. Um, it, it, it can also be very good, yeah. EOS utility program, you can monitor your scene without the need to touch your camera. As I said before, the post-production process is greatly simplified. With the new Canon EOS VR utility, you can convert clips from dual fisheye to eco-rectangular. It's also possible to make quick edits, as well as adjust resolution and file format before export. For those who want to push their image a little further, we've also introduced a new plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. You can automatically convert your footage to Eco Rectangular. And guys, this is another very amazing aspect. They are providing you with a platform which allows you to be able to kind of right off the bat from the camera, be able to import footage into Adobe Premiere Pro without any, you know, extra struggles here and there. Like I said, you would only kind of um, appreciate this technology if you've ever tried doing this in the past before. This is oversimplification of the very difficult process that it used to be. So you can straight away just import the stuff into Adobe Premiere Pro and right away start to do your editing without having any complex knowledge that you needed to or that kind of extra skill that you needed to in the past in order to be able to make a virtual reality video. So this makes everything so simple. Cut, color, and add new dimension to your stories all without leaving Premiere Pro. With this new lens, you can transform light. Oh, but just before I forget, guys, the caveat to this is that it's going to need some form of subscription. Um, it's not going to be free. At least that is what I got, or that's the kind of information I've actually got from them so far. But I don't know if they've changed that or you still have to pay for it. Let me know in the comment section below, maybe if they've decided to make it free, but as at the time of making this video, I know it's going to be paid for. You have to pay for that particular uh, plugin, which is going to allow you to be able to import this stuff into Adobe Premiere Pro. So something to really take note of if you're a beginner like me or you don't really have uh, the money to be able to invest in such things. Uh, it's one point to take note of. Life's incredible moments into amazing immersive visual stories. From experienced professionals to newcomers who are ready to tell their first story in virtual reality, the RF 5.2 millimeter f 2.8. And guys, like I said, it's already established. They've made it clear that this is targeted at beginners. And so that is why I was a little bit disappointed when it came to the fact that you need um, a screwdriver in order to be able to adjust individual lenses because sometimes beginners get scared or someone gets scared just by you know needing something like that in order to be able to open a machine or operate a machine. Uh, it, it makes it a little bit much more technical, but... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Dual Fisheye is a powerful solution for the next generation of immersive content creators. Yes, guys. So basically, that is it. That's my reaction. That is what I think about this particular lens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you disagree with some of the things that, or some of the things that I have said within the video, or you totally agree. But we get to the very difficult aspect of this video. Will I buy this particular um, lens? Mm. Well, before I answer this, if you are enjoying this video, kindly please do click on the subscribe button or like this video so that the YouTube algorithm will shower their blessings on this video. This also goes a long way in helping us because other people discover our channel on YouTube. And if you're new here, I talk about photography, cinematography, editing, and all its related branches right here from the West African country of Ghana. Um, so that is why we call ourselves Africa Amaze. So welcome and thank you so much for clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for joining the family because, hey, here we are just more than a YouTube channel. We are a family. And thank you so much for clicking on the like button. Now, back to whether I think I'll be buying this lens. No, 
No. Um, no, because personally, I, I don't like to be used for experiment or I don't like to buy new generation stuff of things. I, I like to be part of the second generation, at least some of the quirks or some of the little issues that will be detected from the first round of use um, would actually be addressed in the next stage. However, sometimes people ask me, so if you don't want to be part of the first generation, who should use it? And they will make the corrections for you to come and use at the second generation. But hey, there's always a market for everything. I know a lot of people who love first generation stuff. I'm just not one of them. So let's see what comes out of this. Like I said, this is awesome technology and I really wish Canon the best. And what they are doing for the industry is simply amazing. I don't know how much this will cost, but I predict it's going to be around $2,000 range. If I have the original price, I'll put it up here on the screen. Just check it out. This is the exact amount at which um, Canon says they are going to be selling it. But if you're an African YouTuber or African content creator, you know that the prices are usually different at our parts or in our part of the world. And so just when this lens is released, I might make a follow-up video telling you uh, filmmakers in India or Africa, telling you how much this lens will be retailing in your particular geographic location. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or you can link me up on Instagram at OBL underscore junior and I will gladly respond to every single one of your messages because you know why you guys are always awesome and keep sharing the word because we are almost at 2k subscribers as at the time of making this video so share this video with your friends share it with your family please let them all subscribe to this channel let's hit 2k before the end of 2021 thank you so much for watching as always and like always until next time guys keep practicing filmmaking peace out